looking at your paintings, I ask myself whether you were influenced, just for example, from those artists like Rothko or somebody else? Yes, absolutely. You're seeing it absolutely correct. I was. It was in 1992 that I opened a book and for the first time I saw a reproduction of a Mark Rothko and I was mesmerized. I mean, it's quite surprising because that was not an exquisite book or it was nothing special. I just had such a deep connection to this, uh, these squares that are floating in space that I decided to move to New York and live at least one year of my life in New York to understand how America was able to receive and understand such an important and very profound artist so early on. She has a message which seems so not likely uh, to hit the, the core of the 20th century. He was so focused on material, um, materialistic uh, advances. So I, I was, um, yeah, I, I, I'm deeply indebted to, to Rothko who kind of showed me the way. But now we're, we're sitting in front of a yeah. painting painting where you can maybe see the influence of another uh, uh, grand uh, American artist and that's Clifford Still. Uh, Clifford Still and Mark Rothko are considered inside uh, the movement Abstract Expressionism and that's uh, something that I researched then about for seven years. What is Abstract Expressionism? What does it mean? And of course, it's based on Kandinsky, and Kandinsky is something, um, someone I discovered, given that he lived for a very long time in Germany and then in uh, in France, as and considered one of the main uh, forefathers or the fathers of abstract art. So, to to really to leap yourself into the 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 world without form that it's not clear what are you seeing, but that you're still um, drawn into the work. Uh, there is enough to see that your eyes are captured, but you're trying to envelop more the soul than the, the eyes, you know? So, and, and this is really what Rothko was all about, you know? Rothko wanted you to feel yeah. and see the sublime and to, to understand and share this universal language that abstraction offers to painters. This is really something, um, yeah, very important. Wow. Yeah. No, and, and another thing here on this painting is that it, it, it reflects a little bit the idea of the cascade, that you can't really decide, is it now flowing down or is it yeah. is something moving up? And, the, and what I'm trying to do is the abolition of dualities, you know, that you are in a moment of suspended reality. Something is happening, um, like, a, yeah, like, like you're in, in the now, no? You're no longer in duality where something is drawn to the earth or rises up, but it's, it's uh, and I try to give this, um, the hint to the, the invitation uh, into this realm.